There are many things you can change about your Minecraft world, but if you're playing survival, your spawn area is never going to be one of them. Because of this, it's important that you make a good first impression, because we've all joined someone's world for the first time, and just being confused, and maybe even worse at what we've seen. And so given that, if you're looking for a new build project, I think the logical place to start is the exact same one that everyone joining your world will have to, and so here are some ideas on how you can do that. We're going to start with one of my favourites, because the way the spawn works is there is a fixed 20 by 20 roughly area in your Minecraft world where you will spawn on the highest non-transparent block. This means that if you build an island in the sky above that area, kind of like this one right here, then people will have to spawn on that island. This island is really great because now you can give people views of your world, but also you can direct them around and let them know exactly where things are. You can give them a little message and the great thing is, is they're going to be trapped up here without any way of getting down. Well, I say no way of getting down, but obviously there's one very obvious way down, it just involves a lot of pain and maybe a death. And uh, so yeah, this is a really great way to show off your world, to direct people around it, even to give them stuff if you're so inclined, but also it's a great way to imprison people upon joining your world, which is one of the real benefits of a spawn if you are someone who leaves your game open and uh, people maybe join it. Speaking of games you leave open and people maybe joining things, this might happen to your island, but also if we move on to the second idea of what you could do with your spawn area, how about something simple but but engaging. You can put up a little welcome sign and then you can have a lovely hedge maze. A hedge maze is really nice because it really only requires two blocks, it requires some leaves, and then you need a shovel to make a lovely path out of. You can use some azaleas like uh, have been used right here to make it a little bit fancier, but this is an immediate challenge that people can have once they join your world, and the great thing about it is you might be saying, well, you can just break those blocks and get through it, but an important reminder about all of these spawn designs, because, you know, we can say over and over like, well, strangers are dangerous and don't let people into your world unless you trust them, because you know what, trust is this ever moving thing, uh, but instead I'll just point out that if you are playing Minecraft on the Bedrock Edition, you can set the default join permissions to be not able to break blocks, which means they won't be able to break your hedge maze or your spawn island, or the next idea here, because picture a Minecraft server. There's a lot of fun to be had on these things, playing the mini games, doing the lobby parkour, or even just the community aspect of it. This is something a lot of people love, and you can replicate this in your Minecraft world by having a single central focal point. I think a great idea might be a statue of your own skin. Skin. And you know, if you're building a statue of your own skin, why not add to it and maybe have, uh, you know, a couple of things in your hands, let's say a sickle because you like farming and a hammer because you like, uh, you know, working in factories. Those are two very innocent seeming things. And then obviously you, you don't want it to be boring. So you build a giant red background behind that. And then also because you want people to look at this big build you put a lot of time into, you can build a giant area around that um, out of, you know, you, some, something nice and solid that people can't get through. And you can make this server style spawn. I really like the touch my editor has done here with these purple uh, lightning strikes going through the wall and then lovely glass, uh, you know, covering the ceiling entirely. It, it really does combine to make this incredibly impressive grand spawn. And uh, what I love is that it also has the classic parkour and it even has these little houses on the side that would usually be housing mini games or customizations, but instead using it to kind of show off all of the music discs, all of the mob heads, which you can collect, but take some time. So you can use this as a way to show off as well as kind of emulating that server style, but making it a bit more single or multi player focus. I love this design, it's definitely one of my favourites, but it can get better than this. Uh, you know, you might be saying, what's better than Toy Cat holding a hammer and sickle and, uh, you know, crushing people uh, to death at the spawn? And the answer to that would be the next idea, because once you reach a certain stage of Minecraft development, you start using the never more than use the overworld. You start having these pathways around there, and I love the idea of using glass of some concrete, by the way, and then hanging that from the roof of the never. It just looks really great, but here's the problem. Having a never, even if you connect it pretty well, it's never that easy to get people to go into the portal and trying to direct them with signs is a real mess. And so rather than doing anything like that, how about you take your spawn area, which is delightfully, uh, you know, close to this never hub and you just build giant uh, maximum size never portals all the way around it. You can then cover the ceiling with some purple stained glass and because it's a transparent block, they're not gonna spawn on top of it. And then you can surround the outside of that with some obsidian. So from the outside, it just looks like a giant obsidian block. Your, you know, your spawn isn't necessarily too obvious from the outside, uh, but from the inside, it is very clear to anyone joining your world, you have one option, and it is to go through the giant, giant nether portals. And it's funny because the nether is eight to one scaled, and so having the nether be, uh, you know, the portals be a cube over here, but much smaller, it really, really works, and I just love the way this looks. Again, this is almost like a nether design video at this point, but I love the way this one came out, and I wanted to show this to you almost as bad as I want to show you the next idea, because, uh, it, you know, using the nether as part of your overworld spawn design is something you can do 
this way, or you can totally just trick people with it. If you build a nether cave around your spawn with the only clear way out being a nether portal, uh, then you can have that nether portal take people to what looks like an overworld. As long as it looks like the inside of your house just like this, uh, then everything should work just fine. They'll look around chests and they won't see anything here and they'll think, oh, I should go to sleep. I think it's nighttime and then boom, ha ha ha, just got pranked. And this probably does more damage to your world than anyone else. But I just love the idea of tricking people about what dimension they're in because there's no way of knowing when you're inside of a cave, whether that cave truly is in the nether or the overworld, um, unless you know for a fact, uh, the truthful information, that there is still no way to make the default spawn inside of the nether, which does cause a whole set of issues. But speaking of a whole set of issues, the only thing that can cause more than that to me has to be the next idea here, because what if we remove our nether portals from the spawn and instead we make something more useful to the Minecraft world? You can make a zoo or maybe a farm around the spawn area by having all sorts of animals be there and farming them for the various ingredients. Do you want to farm uh, some pandas or some llamas or some cow for the beef, some sheep for their wool? Then you can put these around the spawn and because the spawn is the most visited area of any world, at least if people join enough, uh, then you can use this as a way to always guarantee that these things are ticking and moving along. And the best thing about all of this is of course you have to have a main exhibit and that main exhibit can be the people zoo. That's right, have people join into a nice world. You know, we've got some hearts there, we've got some, uh, we've got some TV, everything a human needs to live and uh, you know, live peacefully. They'll probably have a longer life here than if they're in the real world. We can have a lovely zoo area that people join into and you can just stare at them from the zookeeper gates. Or maybe if you're a slightly less altruistic individual, maybe you wanna use the players joining your world to make a farm because on Java Edition, you spawn with absolutely nothing when you first join a world, but on Bedrock, if they have the map uh, setting enabled, which is for most players uh, by default, then you'll spawn in with a map, which means if you wanna collect some maps, then you can make a map farm by inviting as many people as possible to your world, taking away their permissions and brutally murdering them, which sounds bad, but I mean, let's be honest, we do it to cows and sheep and pigs every day and that's totally fine. Speaking of things we do only on the bedrock edition of the game, I always love the idea of just taking your spawn area, making it natural if you really don't have much time to do anything with it and you wanna have that natural feel to your world, uh, but then building just a giant logo above it. I think, for example, Minecraft is a great game, so why not build the Minecraft logo? Kind of TU1 tutorial style. Wow, that's a project I recently worked on. Um, but you know, let's just say rather than writing Minecraft in the sky, you go a step further and you wrote below it the version of the game that you play. And I like to play Minecraft Bug Rock. It's called Bug Rock because of all the bugs in the game. You know, we're talking about bees and spiders. Definitely not about the fact that mobs despawn at random intervals or full damage seems to be random. Or, you know, honestly, the, the thousands of bugs that have just become features at this point, uh, we call it Bug Rock because there's lots of bugs and bees are adorable. Speaking of things that are adorable, I think that your spawn doesn't have to be something so functional like I've said here before. You can make your spawn anything as long as it fits into your world or even fits into you as a person that you wanna show off. Ultimately, a Minecraft world is about showing your creativity and here is something I really like. I like to fly a lot, I like travel. I find that to be very interesting. So why don't I take my spawn and turn it into an airport? Here is an example of you know building a terminal building, building a plane, building an air traffic control, even the wind soccer. I, I like all of this coming together. And here's me flying into it like a plane. Wow, it looks so realistic, right? I, I, I don't know, I think uh, just something as simple as building something themed in the you know the spawn area that allows people to see like, oh yeah, this is, this is a world you care about is fun enough by itself and as long as it's a project that you're confident will go well and you, it's one that you realize you have to focus on and you probably have to go bigger than normal on. Uh, you know, again, this is the centerpiece of your world. This is the first thing that people see. Then you can build basically anything here if you really want to. And uh, you can even go inside the air traffic control towers and you can pretend to be an air traffic controller. Do you know how much those guys get paid in real life? It's a lot of money. Also, do you know how much stress they have and how terrible their job is? Is, is it worthwhile? Let's have a debate about, uh, you know, like whether, whether jobs that pay more but are more stressful are worthwhile while we talk about just honestly, going back to the farm idea, just have your actual farms be at spawn. I know we, we made a funny thing about zoos and the impacts they have on animals and blah, 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 blah. But actually there's lots of things you can farm in Minecraft that aren't animals such as sugarcane or wheat or melons and pumpkins or even flowers or trees. I think especially in the early game when you're not sure where your world is gonna go but you definitely wanna uh, make sure the spawn area is as inviting as it can be, as useful as it can be, then make sure that you take some time and you decorate your spawn area in just a nice little way. I think uh, to me, I have this idea of like, it's pointless to build something and then later destroy it. But a lot of people love this idea about Minecraft that you're always destroying something previously to make way for something new. I, again, I, I have the opposite view where I like to keep the previous and always see records of your past terrible mistakes. I mean, my world wouldn't look
looked like this if it didn't, which is actually a great way to bring us into the last idea here today, because you know what the perfect spawn is? I've, I've teased you of all these different ideas, but clearly the perfect spawn for survival world is a mushroom-shaped building made out of birch and spruce blocks. You put a fence around it, and then people are trapped in, and all they can do is read your signs, look at your jack-o'-lanterns, or even your lectern, I could say, and uh, yeah, you can use this as a way to keep people trapped inside, maybe make a little bit of a puzzle for them. They can go through your basement if they want to get out. I I, I do think this is, uh, you know, like my spawn is something I put more thought into than most people did, uh, honestly, uh, big, uh, and then I had to revisit recently, because this is something that people get when they download the world, so I always give them some things to actually explore it. This is something thing you might not like to be so generous with, and so that's why you have the big iron trap door where you look at them, you taunt them, and you say, yeah, good luck good luck leaving here till you've done some weird parkour or something. I think, I, I, again, I think making sure that the entrance to your world is fun, but also balances the needs of this is something you care about, some stranger might join and mess it up, is something that you can do and you can have a lot of fun with, but um, <laughs> this spawn prison doesn't work because of the beacon, which is fun. But anyway, this has been roughly 10 different spawn designs that you can go with if you're looking for for ways to make your spawn more interesting. Obviously, just like with all of my other build idea videos, the idea is that you take something, uh, you build it, uh, something derivative of it, or you don't, and that's perfectly okay. You don't need to credit me, you don't need to uh, say you love this video. I just hope that this gave you some inspiration to get into that next Minecraft project, because ultimately that is the most fun thing. And uh, yeah, there's some like key bits of infrastructure that every world needs, and the spawn area being functional is one of them. And whether you get that from an ugly mushroom building or a beautiful spawn island, or something in between. I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. Thank you to Samuel, my editor, and his brother for building these things and doing these delightful shots. I really like these build videos, and if you want to see more, subscribe with those notifications turned on so that you can see more of these as they happen. Also, just as a fun thing, uh, six years ago, I released a video of a similar premise uh, that I decided to remake into this one, and so if you want to watch that to see how far things have come in six years, I'll hopefully link in the description. It's five Xbox 360 or PS3 spawn designs that are actually all different to the ones in this video. I'd like to quickly just say, wow, isn't that impressive? They're all different. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.